Get down! Go, go, go! The mummy's gonna have great action and real thrills. Oh no, we're gonna die! We want it to be wild and violent and erratic and spontaneous. Action! To have Tom Cruise in this movie is so huge for us. It just changes the game completely. His energy is infectious. He's got to top himself every time, action-wise. His passion, his drive, his determination lights the way for us all. He fills you up with this childhood enthusiasm where you're like, I want to make the movie that Tom sees. Tom, he's really good at pushing to keep it real. As much as I would love to slam my head against the wall for a few more times. Tom's in the vehicle, and yeah, that brings on the nerves because he's a good driver and he's a fast driver. I really did think, okay, let's just put stuntmen in there, and then Tom's like, yeah, sure, I'll go in it. I just found out I'll be running on a building that collapses. I say to Tom, let's pull the plug on this one, my dude. Let's bail out. Then there's going to be that adrenaline rush, and you're going to love it, and then you're going to go like, all right, let's go again, and let's go again. He loves it. We're going zero gravity inside a real plane. Tom always pushes the boundaries, and this is one of those. Perfect. Yes. Did we get it? Right. Tom brings out the best of everybody he's in a scene with, and he brings every ounce of energy he has to his performance. I felt very brave around him. He inspired a bravery, and that's an incredible gift to give someone. I've never seen somebody that committed in my life, genuinely. To have everyone feel proud about the effort they've spent to make something of quality, that means a lot to me. It's the only actor in the world yeah. who could find the frame yeah. mid-air three times. <laughs> like, it's really me. It's me. It's, it's me. really me. It is it's me. me. This isn't a tomb. It's a prison. You have no idea what you've discovered. Come to me. What I feel really separates great monster movies from other typical horror movies is that there's a real deep emotional investment in the characters. The hieroglyph said she was named Amunet, chosen to be Egypt's next queen. She's a princess who was promised to become Pharaoh, but then all that was taken away from her. Amunet goes through a huge series of transformations. We've mapped her out into five stages. Stage one, she is nothing but bone and rags. And then she pulls herself together literally into this form as she begins to feed. I saw her. She is real. I chose it. Sophie is perfectly cast as the mummy. Her soul is in her eyes, and she can't hide it. And that's her gift. All she has to do is look at the camera, and you're arrested immediately. I thought, there is literally no one else on the planet who can play this part. And the way that she moves physically is incredible. I'm an ex. She's a warrior. <clears throat> this project allowed me to push my limits. One of the great old adages is that the villain is the hero of their own story. I think that you will connect so deeply to her experience and to what she's been through because Sophia was amazing at that. The female mummy, what's her story? It grabs my attention. I want to see that movie. You can't escape. She's got plans for you. There are worse fates than death. How did you get out of that plane? There's not a single scratch on your body. 
You are alive because of what you brought on that plane. I remember being six years old and seeing the original Boris Karloff mummy and loving it. So to have the opportunity to create a monster movie in this day and age, it was very exciting. Whatever's in there has been safely hidden for 2,000 years. We want the audience to feel, what would it be like if a monster entered our world now? Do you have any idea what you have unearthed? The idea of a female mummy I felt was inspiring and seductive. Sophia Batella is perfectly cast. Princess Amanet, she is a warrior. She is a survivor. She wanted to honor what she was about to become, but then all that was taken away from her. There are worse fates than death. She selected you as the vessel for the ultimate evil. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Welcome to Prodigium. My character, Dr. Jekyll, controls an organization called Prodigium. We recognize, examine, contain and destroy evil. We have Russell Crowe, brilliant actor, and I was excited when he said that he wanted to be part of it. What you have released is unlike anything we've ever faced. Tom said, this is bigger than anything I've ever done before. She will not stop until she has remade our world into her own. It's about great action. It's about suspense. Just stay with me. Don't leave me. And it's about real scares. It gives you such a sense of wonder. I just feel very proud to be part of it. I'm excited to reintroduce these classic monsters to a modern audience. I think the audience should expect to be excruciatingly terrified. <laughs>